Hello, I'm Audrey Blenkinsop. As a long-time member of Bakeups WI, I've been asked to produce a short film about how I make my famous lemon curd. You may remember I won a national award for it back in 1996. <laughs> I first learned this recipe from my grandmother, probably about 60 years ago now. I vividly remember visiting her house every Tuesday afternoon after school where she would teach me the art of baking and I think I've inherited some of her skill. In fact, some of her ways, probably. <laughs> My mother always used to say to me, Audrey, you're such a bossy little madam. <laughs> you see, Granny was such a strong-willed woman. She once said to me, Audrey, if you're going to make a good baker and a good wife, make sure you develop those upper arm muscles. You will need them to whip your mixtures into a frenzy, but also to clout your husband over the head with a rolling pin should he misbehave. <laughs> Luckily, Neville's escaped such a reprimand, but he's fully aware of my bicep capabilities. <laughs> anyway, I, I digress. First of all, you have to make sure that you're fully prepared and have all the ingredients. Now, for this recipe, I use three lemons, um, or four, but these are rather large, so I'm going to just use three. You will need four ounces of unsalted butter, seven ounces of caster sugar, and three eggs. Luckily, I sent Neville out yesterday on a ship shopping spree, so we should have all the ingredients. <laughs> oh, I also need to tell you, you need to sterilize your jam jars too. I always use uh, just uh, boiling hot water, which I pour over the jam jars, turn them upside down to drain. But I won't be doing that until after I've done the recipe and during it's, um, the time it's going to cool down. So, let's get ready. I'll just get the eggs. Now, I always buy my eggs from Jack in the village. They're free range, organic eggs and they're delicious. I usually keep my eggs on the top shelf here, but um, as Neville put them away yesterday, he's probably put them in a different place. <coughs> Excuse me, Neville's just listening to football. <laughs> Neville? Neville, darling? Where are my eggs that I asked you to buy yesterday? just have to have a short break. So here we have our three eggs lightly whisked. You no need to whisk them too much at this stage because the bulk of that will come later. Now in the break I've also prepared some other ingredients. Here is our lemons. Are our lemons, I beg your pardon. So I've removed the rind and I've squozen out the lemon juice. Oh, I must tell you a story. My grandmother once said to me, and uh, while I was making this recipe, and bearing in mind I was only about six at the time, she said, Audrey, never pick your nose when you're making lemon curd because a stray bit of nasal debris may just inadvertently drop into the mixture and people may think it's lemon rind. Oh. Can you imagine? <laughs> but it's wise words if you're making the recipe with young children. So here with the lemons, we add four ounces of unsalted cubed butter. There we are. And you also need seven ounces of caster sugar. I always put my baking ingredients on the top shelf and I don't know why because I can never reach or find anything. Bear with me. Now for 
Sehr. Bravo. Sugar. Oh, I forgot that too. Can't I trust you with anything? It's so embarrassing. I'm here trying to make a film and you won't believe. Just a little break, another break. So every year we put the lemons, we put the butter and the sugar into a heat proof bowl over a pan of simmering water. And we stirred it until the butter and the sugar had melted. Now to this bowl I have just added the three eggs. And you have to continue whisking like this for 10 to 13 minutes until the mixture has cooked. You can normally tell it's right when it, the, the mixture coats the back of a spoon. It's nice and thick and creamy. But although only a small action, it can become rather tiring. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut to the chase, do all the hard work for you. <laughs> this is where my eyesight power comes in. <laughs> and I'll be back with you in the wink of an eye. So here we have it. Our beautifully creamy, lump-free lemon cheese. And it's lump-free because I continually whisked it. So we just have to leave this here now to cool down, but don't forget to stir it occasionally to prevent the skin from forming on the top. And now I'll prepare the jam jars. As I said earlier, all I do is pour boiling hot water over the jars and the lids, turn them upside down and just let them drain. So, three of them you'll need. Blinking sop, jam jars. Jam jars, Neville. I thought they were quite a dust, so I threw them away. Granny knows best. Neville? 